Cox with Cox Sports Broadcasting. Mm -hmm. You're the number one team in the country, the number one seed in the tournament. Does that put additional pressure on you, or do you look at it more as respect? Um, I mean, I think all that, all the unnecessary pressures are you guys make those. Um, we just try to get better every single day. Uh, coach preaches that, so I'm not really worried about the pressures or the, the targets on our back. We know the teams are going to come after us, so we just got to be ready. Isaiah? Um, I, I, I think he, he covered most of it, but um, I just think that at this point of year, none of that even matters anymore. Like, if you're here, you won. So it's time to show up and play. Back left. Do you guys, kind of going off what uh, the question I was just asked, but as a number one, are you, would you guys say that there's any added pressure or you're just kind of used to maybe being so highly ranked since you guys have been up there in the rankings throughout the season? Um, I think that was kind of similar to what he, what he was asking. and. Um, I don't, I don't think there's too much added pressure. I think what what really matters is what we got going on inside our locker room, what we got going on in practice. So um, to you know add more pressure to ourselves, I don't think is is anything that's going on in, in outside inside our locker room. We just want to get better as a group. Back left. Obviously, it's been beaten to death that you know you your team was picked to finish six in the ACC, uh, and clearly that didn't happen. Uh, so at what point do you think this season was the, was the uh, switch flipped, that you all realized that you, your team could really not just build something special for a tournament run, but build something special to be the best team in the country? Um, I think that I never thought, or I didn't think that that was our mindset at all. Like, we never looked at it and it's like, yeah, let's, let's try to finish six. Like, that's where we should be at. We're a confident group and we believe in each other, so I mean, um, all that, like we said earlier, all that stuff doesn't matter now, and it didn't matter before the season to us, so it is what it is at this point. Devin? Uh, yeah, I agree with him. I don't think, um, you know, our confidence wavered in, at any point this season, and uh, we knew it was going to be, a, I mean, maybe some bumps and bruises, but we, uh, we learn as a group every single day, so um, I think that we just had the utmost confidence in ourselves. Second row. Yeah, Isaiah, talk about how, how big a surprise was it when you found out DeAndre was out and uh, how much of a blow has it been? Um, well, I mean, we knew that he was playing hurt. Guys knew that um, he was struggling a little bit there even before that game. So um, it was a, a game time decision for, for him and he decided to play and it was huge. But, you know, it hurts and we're sad for him. I, I'd like him to be able to play, but at the same time, um, nobody like nobody else is going to care that he's hurt. So it's at, at this point, you got to step up, next man up, and we got to be ready to play. So. Feel bad for him, but we got a ball to play. Are there other questions? To our right. You guys, you guys feel like the style of ball that you play uh, is an advantage in a tournament setting like this. And I'm curious what you think about fans, not obviously not Virginia fans, but fans in general who kind of feel like it's a less fun style of basketball to watch. Um, I don't think we necessarily have to apologize for the way we play um, or, you know, um, try to be, you know, favored by every, everyone else. If you like us, then you like us. If not, then, I mean, so be it. I think that, you know, the way we play helps us, helps us win. And, you know, we enjoy playing that way. We played it. We played great that way as a, as a group. So I don't think we necessarily have to, you know, uh, make help everybody like us or make everybody like us. It's, it's just that's the nature of the beast. Back of the room. It's the dream of every college player to get to play in the NCAA tournament. Tell me, you know, how y'all feel about getting to play? Um, I mean, it's exciting. You want to play ball, and a lot of people come up and watch this as they play, and they want to play on the stage. And so we're here, and thankful for that for sure. But um, yeah, excited. Devin, a heck of an experience. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, uh, like I said, I mean, when you're, I mean, well, like you were saying, when you're younger, you're watching this, and you know, to be able to play on this stage is is uh, really fun. Second row. Yeah, this is Doug Dowdy again for Isaiah. Have you done anything different in preparation physically for this tournament uh, or late season as opposed to last year when you obviously missed a game? When I was sick. Uh, no, I eat more vegetables. <laughs> I said, though, I saw a cop for you. I'm healthy this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Other back of the room? No. 
Guys, uh, having been through this a few times already, when you look back at your previous experiences, how much does it change this time of the year in terms of what you need to do and, and what are the biggest keys in the single elimination kind of format? I think uh, preparation is, is really, really big when it comes to this, you know, because uh, you have one, well, you have a couple of days coming into it to prepare, and then uh, depending on how you do, you may have one day just to prepare for it. So um, I think that preparation and, you know, film and make sure you're locked in on every aspect is, is big in, the, in, in this setting. Yeah, and I feel like we got to punch first, um, or, you know, try to punch first at least. Uh, it's hard to play from behind, especially in this format because everybody's revved up and ready to play, so. Bro, is my mic being weird? Do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I need to back it up? You're good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Third ref. Yeah, uh, Kip Coons for the Raleigh News and Observer. Uh, Devin, with DeAndre not available, will you expect to see more time filling that role that he played in that uh, in the small lineup as the nominally the four? Uh, I think maybe so. Um, I think it depending on you know what matchups are in or um, if it if it may be you know be to our advantage, then maybe maybe so I'll play some four or you know um, maybe we may go more traditional traditional at times. So we'll see. I mean I'm. I'm comfortable playing. I played a little bit last year, uh, so you know. I mean, I, I enjoy playing that position anyway. So, anyone else? Oh, we go second row again. Yeah, Devin. Uh, did you guys watch a lot of these games that have been held up to this point? And uh, if so, have you learned anything? What do you mean? What do you mean? The NCAA tournament games oh, that have been played to this point. Oh yeah, oh of course. We're uh, before what game we were just watching Rhode Island and um, uh, Oklahoma. That was a good one. Went into OT, um, and then we we're just watching the Gonzaga game in the uh, in the locker room just now before we walked in here. So um, I mean, this is this is a competitive nature. Com I mean, this competitive nature. I mean, who who doesn't want to play in this this atmosphere? And I know uh, every player across the country playing in this is uh, excited right now and, and amped up. Yep. Back of the room. You guys have always been a chip on the shoulder kind of team, and the program's sort of been defined by the underdog mentality. How hard is that to maintain when you're a one seed, and do you get a little extra bit of that now with DeAndre out and some doubters kind of creeping in again? I think it's more of us challenging each other in practice, and you know, making sure we keep our you know our humble, our humble mindset going into the game, um, knowing that I mean, at any div any given day we don't come out to play, we can be beat. So um, I think that we have that mindset of knowing that we have to you know fight, be continuous, and you know be relentless, and on every possession, it, it definitely helps us keep that underdog you know mentality. And I don't think that there was ever a point where we. We got to we beat we won a game or something like that, and we all got together and we're like, yes, like now we have arrived, and we're here. And no, that's not that's not how it goes. So, um, you know, we're, we're getting after it every single day. If if seeding mattered, the tournament wouldn't wouldn't be a thing. So it's, it's whatever. Yeah, I think I think it's just we we most definitely have room to improve, and we're trying to you know try to keep improving every single day. Uh, we watch so much film and we learn, you know. Uh, from each other, learn from Coach Ben and his staff. So I think the, the room for improvement is, is definitely there. Anyone else? Back left. What are some things that you, you two as older players are doing to help, I guess, calm the nerves of some of the younger guys or at least prepare them for what's about to happen over the next couple of days? I don't think that we're a super uptight team anyway. We play around a lot and stuff like that. And we're loose that way. Um, Dev does a really good job of um, like filling the guys with confidence, things like that. But we're still holding each other accountable. It's just still basketball. Um, we're in North Carolina. We played North Carolina before. It's basketball. So show up. Devin? I think at the end of the day, uh, when it boils down to it, like it's, like you said, we try to keep the guys loose and you know keep you know confidence within the team. But um, at the end of the day, when it boils down to it and the, the nerves get uh, you know settled, then you know it's time to really sit down and play.